Hello, and welcome to this video in which I'll explain our new client access portal, covering both how to register for the service and initially what functions it will deliver to you. Access to the client portal can be obtained once a My Access registration form has been completed, or you have completed the section in your application form indicating that you require online access to your policy. So having completed the initial registration process as mentioned, the next step is to go to www.canadalife.co.uk and selecting the login link in the top right hand corner of the page. You will then be presented with the registration page. Within this page, you'll be asked to confirm some details, including the email address and select a password. A couple of key points. The email address you use here must be the same email address that you provided when you initially registered for online access. The password you select should be a minimum of eight characters, contain one capital or uppercase letter, one number, and one special character or symbol. You'll be asked to select some security questions and provide the answers. These will be used when you log on in future to provide additional security for your information. If you have changed the email address that you wish to use, a new registration form will need to be completed before you proceed. You will then be asked to provide your details as they appear on your policy document. Please do check this in order that the correct format of the policy number is used. If you do not have these details to hand, please call customer services on 01 624 820 200 and request these. By ticking this box to say that you're not a resident of the United Kingdom, you will not be required to provide your postcode. At this point, please enter your login details, remembering that the email address must be the one that you used when the initial registration took place and select a password that must be a minimum of eight characters containing one capital or uppercase letter, one number, and one special character or symbol. You will find a help icon that is selected to remind you of the password requirements. You will next be asked to select three security questions and provide the answers to these. At this point, you'll be presented with a link to the terms and conditions. Read these, tick to confirm, select the register button, and you'll be sent an email confirming that your registration has taken place. That email will have a link that you'll need to select to complete the process. So once you've registered, access can be attained by going to www.canadalife.co.uk and selecting the login link in the top right hand corner of the page. Complete the login details and select the submit button. Answer the security question that you'll be presented with and then select the login button. Issues you may come across when logging in might be that you had not activated the email link or you've entered the email address or password incorrectly. In these examples, please ensure the link in the email you received had been activated or re-enter the email address or password correctly as necessary. If you have entered the incorrect answer to the security questions, you'll be asked to re-enter. If you continue to have difficulties, your account will be locked and you'll be able to select links to reset the password and or your account as appropriate. These steps will send appropriate links to the email address that you have registered on the client portal. By selecting these links, you will be able to correct this and regain access to the client portal. Once logged in, the Home of First page gives options to view policies, manage your account or profile, access a frequently asked question service, and also access contact details. Here you will see your policy summary. By selecting a policy number, you'll be able to view further details. You'll see that the further policy details are grouped into four different panels, value, funds, details, and clients. To help see the detail of each policy, it is possible to expand and collapse the individual panels. And to do so, simply click on the panel's title as shown. You can find the current value of your plan in three different panels. Values quoted are for information only and cannot be guaranteed. And remember that unit prices can fall as well as rise. Further policy detail panels will give you general details of your policy as well as policyholder details. Should you wish to update any of the records, please call us on 01 624 820 200. From this point, it is possible to print the statement containing all of the policy details visible on the screen. To do so, select the print icon in the top right hand corner. From your internet browser, you'll have the option to open or save the PDF statement. And this is an example of a statement. 
The portal provides access to a frequently asked question service, which is accessed here. You will see the list of frequently asked questions, which will be updated. Click on the question and that reveals the answer. It is possible to change your password or security questions once you have logged in. Click on the Manage Account option within the top navigation of your page and select Change Details. You will be given an option to change your password or security questions. If you wish to change any other details like your name, email address or postal address, please call us on 01624 820 200. As a security measure, we will ask you to answer your current security questions before allowing you to make any changes. And once you have changed your password or security question, we will send you an email acknowledging that. Please be aware that we will never disclose any of your login details. Once you have finished, to log out of your account, select Log Out within the Manage Account option in the top navigation bar. Thank you.